Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. Um, my name is James Caldwell and it is Jumpstart January on YouTube with me and my group of, uh, I call them my click, my YouTube click, but we've been doing Jumpstart January. You can trace it on, just do hashtag Jumpstart January and you can pull up everybody's videos. There's a ton of us that are actually doing it where we're doing a video a day basically and um, putting in a lot of work. And trying to stick with it, you know, if, if you've missed a day, it's okay to catch yourself up. And that's basically what I'm doing. I have to actually do a couple to catch myself up because I kind of got messed up here at the end of the month. But that's okay. Because by the time we are done, today is the 31st. By the time the day ends, I will have my 31 extra videos done. Um, so anyway, this video here, I'm actually going to do a short review of an album that um, I have been rocking, and I've been with this lady for a long time, long, long time. K. Michelle. Um, the album is Anybody Want to Buy a Heart. Um, it's fabulous. It actually is. It's a fabulous CD. It really, really is. Um, I got into K. Michelle a long, long time ago when she was literally, she was all the way back working with R. Kelly, like literally back in the day. And um, she had a song, Can't Do This, and I thought it was just awesome. And something happened, and the album never, you know, never dropped. Um, all we had was that video, and that was it. And then I see her later on, she shows up on Love and Hip Hop. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. I know this girl, you know. And I'm like, wait until they hear, you know, even just watching the show, I was saying, Honey, wait until they hear her open her mouth, baby. This going to be all over because I remember the voice. She is, a, her voice, it was undeniable. You know, cute girl, very cute girl. And like I said, the voice was just undeniable. Um, but this particular album itself, I can listen to this album from the beginning all the way through the end without touching the player at all. Um, and I've done, I've done so in the last few weeks. But the song that actually made me love the album was um, a song that's actually called Maybe I Should Call, where she actually chronicles a whole relationship that she actually had with actor Idris Elba and um, how he basically had a baby on the way and she knew that going in and all of that. And she was, you know, dealing with it with him. But then over time, you know, babies have a way, and I wish she hadn't done that, because babies have a way of bringing people back together. You know, sometimes a baby being born will either tear the relationship apart or put the relationship back together stronger than ever. So I just kind of wish, because that's one thing we learned about Kay. She loves hard, and she falls in love pretty quickly. So um, I, I'm sorry that she had to go through that, but it came out with a damn good song out of it. But I kept seeing the video. And she looks so beautiful in the video. And the video chronicles the whole thing. And I just got stuck. And I kept finding myself like replaying the video and listening to the song. So I said, let me go and get the CD. Let me rush myself. Because I would have got it eventually. But I said, let me go ahead and rush myself and go get it. Um, maybe I should call. I, I just love it. There, And she literally, like I said, goes through the whole story. And my whole, my favorite line, um, my favorite line in the song is um, she says she's still in the way, and I'm like, oh, you have got to be kidding me! You know, I I was listening to her, but when she hits that one part, and she does that. She's still in the way, but I love him, I love him, I love him, I love him, I love him. I said, girl, quit playing, quit playing. You could feel that it was something real. I actually had been hearing the song. I heard the story later. I saw an interview with her later, but I knew there was something behind that song, you know, so that's my favorite song on the album. Next, um, there's a song called Going Under. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's like a mid-tempo groove, real sharp. Whenever she gets around to releasing it, I know the over 40 crowd is going to scream. The 40 crowd is going to scream, 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 because that's she used some stuff that's back in my day, you know. So, going under. Definitely going under. Um, and then Love Em All was, I believe, the first single off of the album. Um, it's, it's a good song. 
It's a good song. Another mid-tempo, more upbeat. Um, again, talking about relationships and basically kind of how she is in and out of relationships. And, um, and she, she's defending herself. She's, you know, it's like, I'm not a slut. I'm not easy. You know, it's just, you know, she says, they think I love them, but I love them all. I love them all, you know? And I'm like, okay, all right, okay, live for it. Um, let me see, what else do I love on here? I love something about the night. Something about the night is um, a little jazz tune that's bumped up. It's a little jazz tune that's bumped up. And the only way that Kay Michelle would actually be able to do it. And then that's it. I'm not going to go through all the songs. Like I said, you can listen to the album from beginning to end without turning it off. You really, really can. The songs are strategically placed. It's really a good album. A really good album. I think she did a really, really good job. I think she did a really good job. So go out and pick up. Anybody want to buy a heart? Somebody else wants to buy one. I got one. And you see this cover art. Okay, quit your playing, girl. Quit your playing. Beautiful cover. She did her thing. So that's it, guys. Anybody, anybody want to buy a heart? And that's Kay Michelle. Go out and pick up my girl's album. She's doing real well. She did her, her little reality show. I did reviews on her reality show. The show was wonderful. Um, support Kay Michelle. She's doing a really, really good job with building her brand. Um, beautiful young lady, and I want to see really good things happen for her. So, all right, guys, you can thumbs up or thumbs down. You know how that works. I'll see you guys again. And remember, it's Jump Start January. Hashtag Jump Start January. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.